One of the most consistently requested hypothetical superhero games I've seen over the years is Superman. People seem to want a current-gen Superman game, and yet whenever this discussion is brought up, a group of naysayers make their way out of the woodwork to explain and offer their criticisms as to why a Superman game is impossible to develop and just would never work. I know on this channel over the years, I've received dozens of comments of people expressing their doubts of a Superman game and why it would just be too difficult to adapt the character in the video game medium. But today I want to offer a rebuttal. Over the next few minutes, I just want to express why I think a Superman game is not only possible, but rather doable. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it would be easy. A lot would have to go into the development of a Superman game but I certainly don't think it would be an impossible feat. And if done correctly, I actually think it would have a lot of potential. Now, the first thing I want to address is that I don't see a lot of merit to most of the criticisms that I see against a Superman game because they don't feel like they're really levied against a potential Superman game. They feel like they're levied against a potential Superman simulator. I cannot tell you how many times I've read a sentence that sounds a lot like this. Well, a Superman game wouldn't be reasonable to make because Superman can fly faster than the speed of sound. He can go around the whole earth really fast. We just wouldn't be able to comprehend how fast he goes and therefore the game would be impossible to play. Not to mention the developers would have to create a fully realized one-to-one -one recreation of our planet that could be fully explorable. And in some cases, Superman can fly to the moon and beyond. So the developers would need to create a whole solar system that we could explore. Now again, if we're talking about a simulator where you're playing as Superman, then yes, I would agree with this assessment. Superman has power levels that far exceed the capabilities of any game engine. But let's take a minute and look back at Batman Arkham Asylum from 2009. When it launched, it was considered not only the best Batman game ever made, but the best superhero game ever made. It totally changed the landscape of superhero games. And yet, in Batman Arkham Asylum, I cannot drive the Batmobile. I cannot fly the Batwing or drive the Batboat to Gotham's mainland and then explore Gotham City, go to Wayne Enterprises, travel to Wayne Manor and take off the cowl and then go to the Batcave. None of that is doable in Batman Arkham Asylum, and yet it was considered the best Batman game ever made. In regards to a Superman game, similarly, I do not care if I can do everything that Superman has ever done in a comic. I don't even care if I can fly as fast as the comics say he does. As long as I feel like I'm traveling fast, it's going to feel satisfying. This wouldn't even be anything new. Most games have to use smoke and mirrors to make you feel like you're pulling things off that the game engine really isn't capable of. For example, most of the time when you can drive a car in a game, you're not going as fast as that car is telling you you're going in the game. In the digital landscape, they're able to do cool effects on screen to make it feel like you're going faster. The map is designed in a way to make it feel like you're passing things very quickly. But if you 3D printed that car to scale and that map to scale and drove it at the same speed, it would probably be 20 to 30 miles per hour. When it comes to Superman, I just don't know why people assume that it would have to be a one-to-one -one recreation of all of the things that that character is said to be able to do in the comics. If I feel like I can traverse quickly when flying, if I feel like there are plenty of objects that I can pick up and use super strength with, I don't care if it's an accurate depiction, I just want it to be a fun gameplay loop. And when it comes to Superman, I think there's actually a ton of really cool potential rather than limitations. Instead of a super speed mechanic, why not do the fast travel that they had in Spider-Man 2, where you just open the map and hover over the area that you want to fast travel to and basically instantly teleport there. There's your canonical fast travel in a Superman game that's functional and works. What if when you fly out of the playable area of the map, instead of having the game just auto turn you around and have you fly back in like in a Spider-Man or Batman game, why not do a cool animation where it shows Superman flying around the earth really quick and popping back in on the opposite side of the playable area? Instead of just having an invisible wall once the player launches high enough up into the air, why not have Superman turn around and face the map below him? Instead of pulling up a menu to see the map, why not just have Superman fly up above the city and look down? And then he could even use his super hearing and supervision to locate points of interest. In the Batman games, you had to do it by using like radio signals to triangulate characters' positions. In a Superman game, you could use his abilities and power set 
to have him locate points of interest on the map, whether it be supervillains or side missions to go and explore. I think that would be a really cool way to do it because it would feel true to the character's abilities. Some of his other powers like heat vision and freeze breath could make for some really interesting environmental puzzles. It could open up some cool opportunities for side missions where rather than engaging in combat, you could be saving civilians in danger. There could be airplanes that get hacked to fall out of the sky that you'd have to rescue and do so carefully so that you don't hurt anybody on board. Now I have saved combat for last, and that's because I feel like it's kind of the biggest no-brainer. But even outside of combat, I think that Superman as a character would have the opportunity to do something similar to the Friendly Neighborhood app in the Spider-Man games, where a lot of the side content wouldn't have to be focused at all on combat. Another game that did this pretty well was Hogwarts Legacy. Every side mission in that game had a narrative backbone to it, but many of them were all just about helping people around the map. It wasn't necessarily about a boss fight or going and taking down some criminal operation. Superman would be a great character to do those types of side missions with. He could be going to the Daily Planet and doing favors for some of his co-workers. He could be helping citizens in peril. He could help firefighters put out fires and do other things to help with the infrastructure of the city. And with combat, I mean, come on. Superman has a great rogues gallery and plenty of villains that give him a run for his money. If you brought in villains like Parasite and Metallo and Bizarro and Mongol and Lex Luthor and Battle Gear and General Zod and Doomsday, that's just all off the top of my head. We could also add Livewire, Lobo, the list is pretty endless. There are plenty of characters that you could introduce that would be very compelling boss fights for the Man of Steel. A lot of people have complained about the idea of enemies having kryptonite gear or kryptonite bullets because then that just depowers Superman too easily. Okay, fine. How about the general combat system plays kind of like the free flow combat of the Arkham games, except instead of parrying attacks, what if Superman is catching bullets out of the air so that they don't hit civilians or cause property damage? Why not have enemies who do have armor that you have to use heat vision or freeze breath on before they are vulnerable to attack? Some critics of a Superman game like to bring in kind of a paradox with this. They say, well, Superman would be way too overpowered, it wouldn't be fun to play as him. But as soon as you start introducing ways that you could make it a compelling combat system, they say, whoa, if Superman isn't just able to mop the floor with everyone, then he's no longer Superman. Then the power fantasy is gone and it's not fun anymore. So it's like, well, which do you want? You have to pick one. And if we're being honest, if you think that Superman just one hit KOs everybody, you probably don't think he's that interesting of a character and you're probably not very familiar with the source material. So overall, I'll end this just by saying I think not only is a Superman game possible and doable, I think it's overdue. Especially with James Gunn's upcoming Superman movie, I would love to see some product synergy here where we get a really good Superman game one or two years after that new Superman movie comes out. But thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and we will see you guys in the next one.